some of the lights shining on the college football season have been dim big-time college sports bosses trying to figure out how they can safely have their unpaid employees, college basketball players, on some court to entertain customers and to continue to bring in television money. The business of college sports is business, which means bringing money into the coffers from television and marketing partners, and maybe, just maybe, the thought of putting players into a National Basketball Association-style bubble can work. After all, many colleges and universities will offer online learning, and the basketball players can be sealed off from society to prevent them from getting COVID-19 while attending classes, watching a phone, a tablet, or a computer. While colleges and universities are at it, perhaps the institutions can charge media members to live in the bubble with the players. The college bosses, the presidents, the chancellors, the board of trustees, of the college sports factories are proud of their teams. There's some sort of prestige in having big time sports on campus, but COVID-19 is a tough opponent and a good many of the college bosses know that. And that is why many teams are on the sidelines. But if you look hard enough, you can always find someone who will tell you what you want to hear. Dr. Cameron Wolf, an infectious disease expert at Duke University is the chairman of the Atlantic Coast Conference COVID-19 Medical Advisory Group, and he is all for playing football this fall. Dr. Wolf thinks the virus can be contained somewhat, but football players know the risk they are taking playing the game, so this is just another life-threatening on-field situation. Dr. Wolf said the players will have to accept a little bit of COVID risk. Dr. Wolf knows this. To get the revenue flowing, the games must go on. I'm Evan Weiner.